how have you endured hardships as you pursue your career and endured disappointments? Like one of the reasons this is an important question is I think oftentimes what we do is called solution focused brief therapy. We ask people to like tell me about like your biggest dream that you want to accomplish. And a lot of therapists, they ask us, they're like, but I'm afraid if I ask them about the dreams and they don't become reality, they get disappointed. But I tell people all the time, like you have to trust the human's ability to deal with disappointing news. Mm -hmm. And one of the scary things about the entertainment industry, like once you get cast in a TV show, that TV show's not gonna last forever. It's eventually going to be canceled. Mm -hmm. so how have you managed the disappointments and the hardships as you build your career? Yeah, so, you know, I've had two, I feel like, valleys when it comes to my career. One was before I did Rush Hour, and one was after my last show, MacGyver, ended. And I think the way that I've gotten through them is, you, you know, I believe in God, right? Mm -hmm. And so, or at least some sort of higher power to know that everything happens for a reason, and any setback is leading you towards whatever your true purpose or destination should be. And so you have to have, you have to have a, uh, you have to get to a certain level of peace to know that rejection is God's protection. And it's like, okay, this door closed, but another door will open up as long as I am putting in the work. Um, and so, any of those hard times that I've had, it's like, all right, Justin, what do I do now? Because I'm at a point now where I'm all about self-accountability. I'm not pointing the finger at what this person doing, what my manager ain't doing, my agent ain't doing, what this person could be doing. That's cool. Everybody ought to be doing their job, right? <laughs> Everyone ought to be doing their job. But if they're not doing their job, I have to now say, okay, Justin, how am I going to pick up the ball that they may have dropped? Or maybe I dropped the ball. And so it's like, now what can I now do to put myself in position to get to where I need to get to? And so having an a un, like unbelievable amount of self-accountability in work ethic, um, that's how I kind of get myself out of those moments. And so it's just really knowing that like, yo, everything's gonna be okay. Because I feel like gratitude a part, of, a part of why you'll feel bad when things aren't going well is because you start, to, you start to lose gratitude about the accomplishments you already achieved, the fact that we woke up, the fact that I'm able to pay these bills, you know, the fact that I got a family that loves me, um, and, and the fact that I was the star of a TV show, you know, the fact that I was on another show that went for, for five seasons. And so you have to be like, all right, let me be thankful for what I have accomplished already. All right, and so it's like, that's the first thing. And then, okay, now let, what work do I need to do to get to the next level that I'm trying to get to? And um, I think something else that a lot of people do, and I, I think I've, I've been guilty of it, and I try not to do it, and it's a quote, which is, comparison is the thief of joy. Mm -hmm. You know, and when you're always concerned about what someone else is doing and what they got, you're not like, yo, let me stop, stop worrying about what everybody else got let me be thankful for what I have, mm. you know, and then keep it moving, you know? Cause if you, I feel like if you're great, if you're talented, if you did it once, you could do it again. So that's, that's how I get myself out of that.